What's up guys, Mr. Anderson336 here. I'm back with another replay. Um, today playing on Mountain Pass, playing in my T29, and I'm platooned up with Moscatos. We are having a very rough match in front of us because we are facing tier 9s and I'm driving a tier 7. However, this game wouldn't uh, be interesting or shown if not something interesting happened. So we got something, we got some suspense building here, so that's good. Anyway, T29 in a tier 9 matchup. Not exactly my uh, dream, but uh, we can get by because T29, if it's not the strongest, it's one of the stronger tier 7 heavy tanks in the game. We're talking 280mm of frontal armor uh, on the turret. The hull armor is shit, so don't ever expose that. It's only 102mm. Uh, the gun is fairly good, uh, but it could be better. Uh, 320 damage, 198mm of penetration and 245 millimeters of penetration with the APCR which I'm loading right now because I'm not sure what I'm gonna face when I arrive around this corner um, 10 degrees of gun depression which make this tank an insanely strong tank hold down and that's what we're gonna do for the most of this match which is also why the game isn't that action packed and well a little drawn out um, because we are hold down we are pretty much forced to be hold down in this matchup, so anyways. So we got our first shot into the T-54 lightweight. Uh, that tank isn't really, isn't exactly a light tank, so uh, shooting APCR at him isn't really a waste in, in this situation. We will probably sh come around the corner one more time. There he is. One more shot into him and the Yak Tiger finish him off. Now. There is an RU-251 Spear Panzer behind us, and uh, it won't be long before I pay attention to it. And he is right there. Now this shot is a completely waste of money, and um, well, at least I track him. I guess I track him. But he's out of the game, and so is Muscatos, unfortunately. He just got taken out by a tier 9 medium tank, the American also loader on their team. Last APCR shot, fired into the side of the Conqueror, unfortunately it bounced. However, oh, we do have a feast in front of us, we do have a couple of ISs, and those tanks are, well, they are Russian, and should be overpowered, but in this long range brawl, not exactly. Um, 120, I think they do have 120mm of turret armor, but we are shooting down on them, and um, their guns will never penetrate our turret front. And I even think they are shooting HE at us, but yeah, it's fine. That's actually the best thing they can do in this situation, so we, so we shouldn't be too rough on them. So, IS-6 is pushing the lightweight, and I'm just waiting for my next shot. Uh, trying to go for the cupola or the rooftop on these ISs. Also, I might be able to penetrate the gunman bit on them. It really depends on how uh, my shot hits. But yeah, anyway. IS-6 fired one shot at us, and he penetrates. We got a shot on the T-54 E1. Um, and I should consider myself to be very lucky to pin that shot, because T-54 E1 is a very, very, very trollish tank, as we just saw. First one went right through, second one bounced. So it is kind of a 50-50 chance if we will be able to penetrate it. But uh, yeah, he's dead. Uh, the Ferdinand took him out, and we are back to shooting the ISs. So, now I'm almost, we have taken a lot of their HP and uh, we will try to continue to do that, to try to take them out. This Conqueror is not really a threat right now because he is, uh, I don't know the gun depression of the Conqueror, but, uh, well, he's hesitating about coming over this ridge line and, well, you would understand why, because we have three tanks here. So, first, IS is out of the game, uh, second one is still alive and we should be able to put a shot into him. Come on, Ayas. That one went. Look, that one went right through his gunman, or so it seemed like. He's almost out of the game, and um, well, let's focus this conqueror. Now we're having Cumbri from behind, um, and that's the issue 101. While I'm saying that, I actually killed the Ayas, so that's a nice. Uh, well, that was nice. Now there's only the conqueror to the front, and since all my allies decide to pick on that issue 101. I am forced to deal with this Conqueror. 
But I fired first, and uh, if I just aim at his low plate, I should be able to penetrate him. The issue 101 is also dead now, so uh, yeah, we can move on. So this game was drawn out and not very action packed, but uh, I think it showed the highlights of the T29, the strongest parts of the T29, and uh, that's why I have decided to showcase it. And well, a minor spoiler, but nothing won't happen. There will not happen anything more in this game. It will just be me driving towards their base, and that's basically it. So um, GG, well played, and let's take a look at the post-game stats. So out of that game, we managed to get a tank ace. We also got shell proof and fire for effect, fifty-four thousand credits and four thousand experience. We did three thousand two hundred and fifty-eight damage, two kills, and thirteen hundred and thirteen hundred and forty-six base experience. We fired 17 shots, hit 16, penetrated 12, 3,258 damage. Most of it was within 300 meters, but we did 1,000 on more than 300 meters. We managed to block 1,400 with our armor. And, well, that's basically the game versus those tier 9s. Um, we had to pay a lot in ammunition cost, 32,000, because we fired a lot of, well, we fired four shots of APCR. Uh, our tank wasn't completely destroyed, but it was badly damaged after that fight with the Conqueror, so we also have to pay for the uh, repairs, which ends up, which ends, which gives us a profit on 17,000 after, well, yeah, ammunition and repair cost, of course. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have an awesome day whenever you watch this. I'm Mr. Anderson336, and I'm out. Good.